you know, a lot of people said, oh, look, Ron Paul lost. What a waste. And I said, wait a minute. You know, revolutions always take time. The number one you know, new movement on campuses starting to overshadow the phony, phony liberals and phony conservatives is the libertarian Ron Paul patriot movement. He was just a focal point of that. All this investment in time and energy uh, is is just going to continue to grow. And now everybody has seen that and are more heartened than ever and have learned the lesson that this isn't going to be instant gratification. This is like planting crops. A lot of work comes into it, but before you know, you're bringing in that harvest. And this, it's going to be the same with your Senate campaign. And I pray, just like we pushed your dad to run for president, I pray uh, that uh, you will, uh, after you're done exploring this, do it. Uh, because it's so important to just launch more torpedoes at the enemy, and I see you as a very important torpedo, not just because of your father's name, but your great education, your patriotic stance, your activities in Kentucky, your history of liberty. Uh, I think you're the man for the job, and you're a weapon we need to use against the New World Order. Well, the amazing thing about my father's loss, and I was very involved with the campaign, and I, I heard some of the dissatisfaction from people, but I try to convince people that the amazing thing about the loss is that he is routinely on the mainstream media now. Our viewpoint, finally, for the first time in probably 30 years, we have a spokesman. Yes. Who they may not be listening to him all the time in Washington, but we have someone who presents our point of view to a large audience on a national basis, and he became a national leader. And there's something quirky about the media in the sense that you can be a regional person, a congressional candidate, or co congressman, but then when you take that next step up to the national level, all of a sudden everybody wants to know your opinion.